August reset episode 20. 20th of August and as you all know yesterday's video was called not such a good day but plot twist today is a good day because I'm not alone hey <laughs> so I'm sure that you all have a bunch of questions right now <laughs> this is Ilse she is Mexican Dutch Obviously, I live in Belgium, close to the Dutch border, <laughs> and apparently, she had been watching the channel for three, three years. years already. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> she reached out to me um, a week ago, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I think. Something like that? Yeah. And, and, yeah, she was like, oh, I just, like, I can't, like, where in Belgium do you live? And then we figured out that we actually very um, live very close to each other, so we met we are currently in Eindhoven, that's what it's called, which is in between our respective cities. And this is literally the first time, <laughs> you know, for us to meet and hanging out. And, and I wanted to capture the moment, capture the moment <laughs> share that with you guys, as she is obviously one of our tribe, one of the, the Viking tribe. And, you know, obviously we've just been talking all the time. And I told her before that it's such a gratifying feeling and, and, and it's so nice for me, such a proud moment to see the people that actually spend time watching my stupid videos, you know, stupid that, video. that, that's how I feel. <laughs> and like this woman is so awesome and, and, and so sweet and, and intelligent and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you know, just great. And to think that she's one of you guys that watches my video is like, I could not let that moment go by without taking some time so okay first question let's conduct a little <laughs> viking interview um how would you say that like wounded viking internet youtube persona compared to like the real me how would you say i how that yeah what's the difference if there yeah. is a difference is there is there a, yeah. <clears throat> i don't think there is a difference just you, you are taller than I imagined. <laughs> and um, what I've noticed more is just how observant you are. That's something I didn't knew mm. from you. But I can see you when I'm with you, like how observant you are of people. Mm. And um, yeah, just more, more details. I know I can experience you in real life. So yeah. that's different, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, I I told her like, please don't think that I'm rude when <laughs> when I'm looking at things when you're talking to me. It's not that I'm not listening. Yeah. It's just um, I can't help but notice. It's not even that I actively do it. I'm just I'm all, I all, I hear everything. I like we we passed somebody that was speaking Spanish. And I didn't even notice. Yeah, and I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I can't help but hear it. Yeah. Um, I guess that's what they like that's what they call like highly sensitive or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. and that also that's also the reason why usually if i'm in a place like in a crowded place or in a big city i always end up feeling very tired at the end of the day yes i can tell to relate yeah really, yeah so you're mexican dutch yes. when did you move from mexico to netherlands when i was five five years old yeah. and how do you identify like do you feel like you're more mexican more dutch i would just say half, half. Mm -hmm. yeah you mentioned something about wanting to go back to mexico yes which is what you're gonna do soon uh-huh for an uh, internship i will do in mexico for my study and i do feel more at home in mexico i believe than in the netherlands but i will find out once i Go mm. for Absolutely. That's awesome. All time favorite wounded like in video. I know. <laughs> Wait, you put me on the spot. That's the whole idea. <laughs> That's the idea. I think you're one of your recent videos that you spoke about. I've lost my mind. Mm. And that was like, and I've talked about that before. Yeah. That was a video that, like, I've been making content for 19 days in a row now and the last couple of days, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't had the most, you know, 
and then at that much inspiration so I basically just think about okay what's another embarrassing or intimate story that I haven't shared yet <laughs> let me just throw it on here they seem to like it it's so, so it's funny that you say like I think that's one of the greatest things about this August reset concept is that it's forcing me to create um, and then I think artists and creators in general I think we are too often crippled by the need for perfection we're always looking for like that perfect song or that perfect video mm -hmm. and then we we end up sometimes putting too much in something and then when we put it out there it doesn't get the reception that we we expected we get frustrated I know that happens yeah. to a lot of creators like I know people yeah. that have been working on their first YouTube video video for two years now and they still haven't posted it oh. and it's like think about all the stuff you could have posted yeah like that youth didn't think it was that good but that would be considered like really good um and let that also be like a, a call to action to anyone watching this who is a creator or or who is an artist just begin start like push that first time you know and and it, and things will figure itself out you know like i'm doing right now um but yeah, you're, I think you are only the, I'm trying to think, the third subscriber. <laughs> that I've, you've met in real life? Yeah, I've been really? doing this for five years now, and I think wow. you're the third. Wow. Who, where did the other two live? The other one was Valdemar, Denmark, my client. I met him in Barcelona. Mm. And then uh, I made an Instagram post about her, this young Argentinian girl, a really sweet girl. I ran into her in the park, also in Barcelona. Oh. And aside from them, no, there's someone else. Okay. I forgot her name though. I'm sorry if you're watching this. It's been a, it's a long time ago. I met her when I was, she was Irish, and I and I met her when I was in Valencia. Like we met on like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I like I forgot. <laughs> Um, she will forgive you. <laughs> she probably like unsubscribed the minute she met me. She's like, fuck this guy. Oh man. Um, no, that is great. And um, like, I just want to like, once again, like now I get to like actually meet somebody in person. Um, that is part of this like intimate little group of, you know, the people that watch me. But I feel like you represent a lot of people watching right now. She had to, like, when I pulled out the camera, she started laughing because <laughs> She was like, oh, so this is how you do it? Like, yeah. Like, no more magic. Like, yeah. now you're seeing behind the, the yeah, scenes. It's so strange because now I'm like, not behind the camera watching. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just uh, yeah. somebody commented, commented the other day saying like, you're so, uh, you're so strong or like so much stronger than me. And, like, and I, I replied, I said, no, I'm not. Like, there's literally no difference between me and any of you watch and like the only di difference is like I film myself and I put it online mm -hmm. like there, it doesn't make me better it doesn't make me anything else like it's it's literally literally just that and the only reason I do it is because like we're all gonna die anyway so who you know who cares right like might as well make something happen and make the best of it so um, yeah I'm super grateful that you decided to reach out and, and that I got to meet you. Like, it's been really amazing. And I um, want to get that on camera. <laughs> like, I already told you this, but yeah. I want to, like, just kind of confirm that. I'm super grateful that you invited me and that you wanted to meet me. I'm of like, course. would he even want to meet me? I don't know. But it's so nice that you just did it and just asked if we could meet and talk about yeah. life. Yeah. I don't, even, I don't think it's going to be the last time. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> Definitely not. So, yeah. guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and, and also let this be like, a, how do I say, like an open invitation. Anyone that is ever thinking about like, hey, I wonder if, if you know, if I could reach out. You can, you can send me a, a message on Instagram, send me an email, and if... If I'm able to, like, I would love to meet anyone that watches the channel, you know, just so you know. So... You can reach out in Dutch, English or Spanish. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been talking Spanish too. <laughs> French, not so much. Not okay, so much. Okay, okay, Yeah, we've been talking English, Dutch and Spanish today. <laughs> yeah, 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 we have. We absolutely have. Yeah. So, yeah, this, uh, this actually really made my day and 
you might think like this is a big moment for you but it's actually a really big moment for me as well really like i'm proud to have people like you um paying attention to me you know and on that note <laughs> um the next three videos is gonna be me working out again um ta talking talking the press over some sad piano music so i hope you guys enjoyed this little nugget of positivity um yeah that's it thank you guys for watching episode 20 and episode 21 will be up tomorrow and who knows what will happen you know one day <laughs> it's not so good one day is great other days not mediocre but the overall message is always weather the storm ride the waves of ride the waves of life and see what happens and just keep moving forward all right guys thank you for watching and uh, tell them to hit the like button hit the like button <laughs> all right guys See you tomorrow. Bye. Peace. <laughs>